What I have on here today is typical of the, act of the average Continental soldier in Washington's Army. Uh, we'll start off with this uniform jacket that I have made out of wool. Uh, it's blue with red around the edges. Now, this jacket style or, or cut is very popular in all armies of the world at this time. Not only does it look nice and fancy, but it's very practical. This is your uniform jacket you're going to be wearing for most of the year. So you need to have this be able to alter it around, change it if necessary. Today it's rather warm, so I have my uniform jacket buttoned open, and I have my coattails pinned up. But if it was a colder day out, I would button my jacket across, keep it closed like a double-breasted coat. I would unhook my coattails, let them fall down around my legs to keep me warmer. I could unbutton my cuffs here on my sleeves, let them fall down around my hands. And then I have this series of straps and everything around my neck. I could button those across, almost like a built-in scarf, let my collar stand up. So this jacket is very practical, and um, that's what the soldiers are going to need. Underneath this jacket, I have on a vest or waistcoat, as it was called. This is made out of white linen. Then I have like a homespun shirt on underneath that. This black thing tied around my neck was known as a neck stock. It's kind of like a bow tie without the bow. You tie it around your neck real tight. That was the fashion in the 18th century. I have on linen trousers. Sometimes the soldiers will wear knee breeches and stockings. Wool socks, leather buckle shoes. Then it's all topped off by the infamous tricorn hat. A tricorn hat is nothing other than any hat you'd be uh, given or bought at that time and have a nice round brim. It was up to you how many sides you wanted to put up on your hat. So it was fashionable and stylish to put up three sides like this. Some soldiers just put one side of their hat up. They called that a cocked hat. Some soldiers let the brim all the way down, kept the sun out of their eyes, kept the rain. It didn't matter what style of hat you had, but what was very important was the color of the ribbon or cockade that you wore in it. That told everybody what rank you held in the army. So my ribbon here, it, it's kind of faded to brown. It should be black. And black was the color of the private soldiers, lowest rank in the army. But if you were some sort of officer, you would have a different color in your hat, maybe green or red or yellow, denoting that you were a captain or a lieutenant or a colonel. One interesting thing is that uh, General Washington, he chose the color for all the generals in the Continental Army to wear in their hat. He could have chose any color that he liked, but he chose black. So the highest ranking soldiers and the lowest ranking soldiers in the army both had the same color in their hat. It says a little bit about General Washington.